Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna look at this. It's a Philips My Living ceiling light in white. It's LED motion activated. And I'm gonna put it here in the cave toilet. Okay, so here in the cave, in the toilet, it's a little small area and there's a light switch on the side that often gets left on, sometimes by me, but mostly by the kids. And then what will happen is, even though it's an energy saving bulb, you'll realize that basically the light's been on for a whole you know, day or a couple of days because I haven't used it very often. So I was gonna get a new Hue bulb to go in there and one of the motion sensors but it works out to be quite a lot of money for a motion sensor and a hue light bulb. And then that's when I stumbled across this. So basically it's an LED light, which has a motion sensor in the middle. We don't know if it's gonna be any good right now, but we're gonna unbox it, I'll quickly install it, and then see how it works. Um, like I said, it's got motion sensor, says it's 600 lumens, says it should last for 15 years, and obviously LED it's energy saving anyway, and the fact it's going on and off um, should save a little bit of money as well, and a five year guarantee on it. Obviously it's not smart, we don't need to be smart in the toilet, just needs to be able to see where you're peeing. So, we'll quickly pop open the box. I'm assuming that there's gonna be some information about adjusting how long the light stays on for, but just wave your arms around if you're getting caught short and the light turns off. Let's see what's inside. Oh. Okay, so the light itself, and then like okay, a warranty safety manual, and then some instruction manuals on how to put it all together. Obviously, if you're not confident changing a light, then get an electrician to do it. Make sure you obviously turn off the power, double check things are insulated, or isolated I should say, and um, you know, make sure you don't blow yourself up because I will not be held responsible for that. So let's see what we've got. So it's it's very lightweight and it does feel a bit, a bit cheap, if we're honest. Let's grab the knife. But again, it is quite cheap, so I'll put a link in the description. I got this off Amazon. Let me see what's in here. The light I had in there in the bathroom already was a, was a cheapy thing. I guess I want some water resistance capability. That's it. Not a lot to it. Let's open up the back. Just slides off here. Obviously it doesn't See if we can detach the sensor so we can see what's going on. Okay, so this is it. You can see the LED light ring around here, and it's just yeah, an opaque, opaque kind of cover the simple motion sensor in the middle. So should be super straightforward and easy to replace. Um, existing light fitting so uh yeah i'm gonna quickly do that now and then we're pop into the toilet together and uh, see what it looks like one thing i have noticed that's not a big deal for me because i've got loads of screws and rule plugs everywhere but there's no fitting equipment there's no rule plugs there's no screws so you need to provide all of those yourself and the other thing that i didn't mention earlier but uh, just a reminder I tend to do a couple of things once I've isolated the power to a light switch. One is I use one of these um, voltage detector pens. So you basically just turn it on, it lights up green, you put it near the live cable and it flashes and beeps if there's still power to it. And if it doesn't do anything, then you're good, you're not electrocuted. And I'm just doubly safe that when I'm undoing the terminal connectors, I use one of these light up screwdrivers that will, it's got a little orange element in the middle there, that will light up orange if there is any power. So just a couple of extra things that I like to do to make sure I don't get fried. So let's see, get it fixed and then show you what it looks like. Okay, so just finished the install. Before I take you in, just to explain a little bit about what I found since installing it and using it. I was quite fortunate that the kind of two screw holes for my existing light were pretty much close enough that I could kind of not have to drill a new hole, which is 
really handy. There's no configuration switch or anything on there to adjust the brightness or how long kind of things stay on. So it basically once it detects motion, it goes to 100% uh, brightness. That um, motion sensor has got 120 degrees of motion detection capability. So it'd be pretty good even in a larger bathroom. Obviously this is a small toilet, so it works perfectly for me. And it will detect from naught to five meters away. So again, again, it's perfect for me. I think it's gonna be perfect for most um, situations. It's a nice subtle light and it stays on for 30 seconds after any motion has been detected. So that's a good amount of time if you sat down doing your business and it's uh, obviously taking you longer 30 seconds, which is fine. Uh, I like to go quick myself, um, but you can just move your arms around or just a slight bit of movement will keep the, um, the light on and works really well. And also anything um, below 20 lux is when the light system will work. So if you had the light uh, in a room that had a window or something, it's only gonna come on when it gets dark. I have no windows in my little toilet, so it's always coming on automatically. So I'm gonna pick up the camera, we'll head over to a little toilet tour and uh, show you what the light looks like and how it works. Please don't judge me on my toilet cleanliness. Okay, so over here is the toilet area of the cave. You see just over the corner here, this is the light switch. So obviously this is now permanently on and I'll try and crack the door open very slowly so we can see this dark in there. I hope you can see it's dark. But as soon as we get the door a little bit open, on comes the light. So again, this is a small bathroom area. You can see the uh, air conditioner unit over here, because it's not summer, so it sits in here most of the year. This is the old light just here. So again, that wasn't a particularly brilliant looking light. This new one's not particularly looking, brilliant looking either, but it really does the job and it looks a lot brighter on uh, the camera than it is in real life, but it's it's a warm yellow glow that lights up this area absolutely perfectly. So yeah, I recommend one of these. And the other thing I recommend is one of these little thinking caps, because all the best ideas you have are whilst you're sat in the throne room. Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.